Okay. Um, then you better hope it's dark. So we looked at my first three rounds, last stream in the World Open, and if you're on YouTube, uh, there's uh, four videos of that. One is the whole video, the whole stream, and there's three individual videos of just the games and so forth. Okay, so this is round four. I have uh, two and a half out of three, and I'm playing Deepak Aaron, who also uh, lives in Georgia. He comes to our club often. He was at our club tonight. I think he may have just left or he's still here. I don't know. Is Deepak still here or he left? He just left. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at my game with Deepak and he just left. Okay. What's that? Yeah, but it's dark. Well, All right. I think it's fine to be dark. Okay. Um, yeah. Yay, Omar Fomar F subscribed. I feel like we're the same way every time. Yeah, that's fine. Like, at some point, can I get a Perrier? Yeah, I mean, I'm heading out. Yeah, but don't forget your kid. I'm not. Is Spencer going with Deepak, or he's going with you? He went with Deepak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Et cetera. Mm -hmm. Hooray. Let's see here. Hmm, chilled. Okay, so I had white. This is round four of the World Open. Um, now, Deepak who I know well, because he's here all the time and we've played a lot, is um, he plays the French and the Dutch. And like a lot of people who play the Dutch, he plays E6 on move one because that avoids a lot of theoretical lines that you, now you don't have to know them. So if you play F5 here, you have to be ready for the pawn sack E4 and Bishop G5, which I've played before. And when you play E6, if... Your opponent plays knight f3, which is fine, and you play the Dutch. Some people, when they face the Dutch and they fee and their bishop, will play knight h3. I've played both. Um, so they can't do that. And if they play e4, then Deepak likes to play the French. So. so he's one of these guys who plays e6 on move one against d4 or e4, and then plays the French or the Dutch. Okay. So we so we played the and I, I've played this a couple times. I played it against Ginger GM in our Blitz match. I think I played it against Takaru in one of our secret illegal blindfold matches. I think it was this, but maybe I'm wrong. Probably I'm not wrong. Maybe. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to get out of theory and play boring. Trade off the dark square bishops, put my pawns on dark squares. Now, in this position, uh, I had to think, not my strong suit, and my move is okay. Uh, I played e4, and I figured if I didn't play e4, then I wouldn't. He's going to play e5 soon, and you know if I get e4 in and he doesn't do anything about it, I should be better. And in this position, this is very interesting. The move that I looked at the most that I was worried about was e5, which is what he played. Because, you know, my king's on e1, so I'm, I'm worried about that. And um, some of the stronger engines think d5 is a good move. So I don't know if d5 is a good move, but neither one of us considered it. It's okay. I don't, it's, I don't think it's as good as Deepak thinks it is. We were talking about it today, but... Okay, so he played e5, which is what I expected. Um, yeah, I got to watch my king here because you, know, you got to be careful. And I played d e5, attacking his knight, and he took, and then I played queen e2. So I figured since Deepak likes to attack on the king's side, and he's already played e5, f5, followed by probably f4, bishop g4, g5, etc., maybe I'll castle queen side since he has nothing over there. There's nothing near my king, and I have a lead in development. And he did play f4, and I just thought it made more sense to castle queen side here. Castle king side, he's, he's already got a pawn, you know, on f4, and he could just push his pawns on the king side. So I castled over here. It doesn't look dangerous to me because my pawns haven't moved yet, and there's, there's nothing, there's no black pieces or pawns here, so I have a big lead in development. The engine says it's about equal. Okay, and he played knight c6, which is reasonable. And this is the key to the game, basically. It happens right now. 
This is the critical situation. Now, white has a lot of moves that are reasonable, like king b1. Always play king b1. Um, I played bishop b5. Uh, the strong engines don't like that move very much, but they really don't like the move that Deepak made against it. And after his next move, I'm basically winning. And I didn't play the right way, but I think I had the advantage throughout. Um, and this is the way Deepak plays. Deepak often uh, goes all in. He loves to attack. Deepak loves to attack. And as a consequence of him attacking a lot, he beats a lot of grandmasters. For example, the game before this game, he beat Lenderman. And Deepak was attacking and attacking, and he won. He likes to attack. Now, the, the move the engines give, which neither one of us considered, is knight a5. And the idea is leave the white bishop on b5 so you can start attacking it, which is actually what he did, but he did it in a much worse way. And after knight a5, he can play like a6, b5, c5, or c6, b5, and so forth. Have fun. Yeah, Don't forget your kid. Oh, yeah. It's the darkest. Yeah, that's okay if it's dark because I, I lose a lot of games coming up, so we need, we need dark. I'm glowing, that's right. Okay, so he played 94. When the game ended and we were discussing the game without, without a board, we just went out and discussed it. I was like, you know, 94, blah. And he was like, that was a great pawn sack. And I said, all right. Anyway, that's a very bad move, which he agrees with now. And what's funny is the engines don't want me to win the pawn, but I like winning a pawn. Um, taking is good. And here, instead of winning his D-pawn, which I did, um, I mean, I figure his name's D-Pock, I should win the D-pawn. And then if Karen watches, oh, I can't make that joke. So the engine just wants me to, you know, get E5 in and play aggressively. So, for example, I could play E5 now. I could play bishop C4 check and then E5. And when I say the engine, the chess.com engine that is the default is not, you know, that's not the latest engine. Um, last week I downloaded Stockfish 14. And I usually don't upload the or download the latest engines because I literally don't care. Um, I don't play enough strong tournaments where that matters to me. And I'm like semi-retired and I'm old and I can't see. And where's my list of excuses? I left it at home. Anyway, um, but I figure I know how to download Stockfish. So I got 14 and my, my laptop is able to use 12 CPU. So it tells me I played 12 times as badly as I thought. Um, anyway, after Bishop C4 check and then E5, White has a very strong position. But I'm taking the pawn because that's, that's, that's who I am. I take pawns. So I play queen c4 check winning a pawn. Now, his behavior at the board, like his, his mannerism, indicated to me he blundered a pawn. But after the game, he's like, that was a great pawn sack. And I'm like, all right. Um, it's hard for me to believe Deepak didn't see knight takes and queen c4 check. Now, it turns out this is fine for him. And king h8 is not as good as bishop e6. I took a pawn. I thought I was up a pawn. And I think in this position, I am up a pawn. But after bishop e6, he might get quicker counterplay. Okay, so he started attacking my pieces and, you know, gaining time. Now, this is weird. I basically considered bishop c4 and bishop d3, and that was it. And the engines say bishop e2 is best. Now, I understand that bishop e2 can be best because we're leaving the c4 square open for the knight. The bishop can go to f3. The bishop on d3 blocks the d file and runs into c4 later. I understand, but I, I didn't even consider bishop e2. Okay, so I played bishop c4, and he played the somewhat obvious b5, bishop d5. So I'm up a pawn, and the way I was taught chess basically by myself as an adult for these kinds of issues is these attacks aren't good and they might work, but they shouldn't work. So I never worry about this. And everybody that I talked to after the game who was between like 2000 and 2400 was like, 
I can't believe you won. He had this vicious attack. And I'm just thinking like I'm up a pawn and he has nothing. And the reason I don't, I don't believe in his attack is because I haven't moved the pawns in front of my king. I have a lot of pieces near my king. We've traded two sets of minor pieces. I don't see how his rooks are getting involved. Now they did get involved, but I wasn't worried at all here. I just thought I'm a pawn up and he blundered a pawn. Like during the game, that's what I thought. During the game, he thought I have great compensation. I'm the greatest. But he agreed today that he didn't, you know, that he was, he was um, optimistic. And, you know, when I was lower rated and younger, I was always attacking and thinking I had compensation, but there's no attack on the white king and the engine says that white's more than a pawn up because, you know, white's position looks pretty good. All right, he moved his rook because I attacked it. Seems reasonable. And um, I think this is where I started to not play the best moves because here I'm pretty reasonable with how I played. The engine wants me to play knight f3, controlling the e5 square, unleashing my rook on the d file. And I played knight b3 after a very long thought. And he played c4, which is explosive. And when I played knight b3, I hadn't decided which move was better. And I just decided even if knight d4 is worse, I should do it anyway. Because if knight a5 is worse, it's really stupid. If knight d4 is worse, nobody would say, knight d4, why'd you do that? But if I play knight a5 and it's stupid, they'll be like, why'd you put your knight on a5? What's wrong with you? Now, they're both fine, but knight d4 is a little better. Okay, threatening knight c6, obviously. And he stops it. And um, if you watch my channel a lot, now you have to look away. Although the move I made isn't bad, probably rook he1 is the best move. But I, 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 I thought a long time and I played f3 uh, because I thought his only counterplay was to play knight g4, threatening this, and then his knight's really good on e5. It's really good on e5. Then he's threatening b4, for example, and he's defended his pawn. And his knight's not good here. It's good here. So I didn't want him to play that, and I was thinking, should I play h3 or f3? Um... I didn't like h3 as much because at some point when my knight leaves f4, I thought he would play f3 and mess my pawns up. So he doesn't have a dark square bishop. He can't get his knight to e3 or f2. So I thought that was fine. It is fine. It's okay. I think in every game I played uh, f3 and f6. So that's, that's why I didn't do well. Okay, he played rook fc8. That's fine. Good move. Now, the engine doesn't like my next move. I played knife f5 to make up for f3. <clears throat> and I figure the more pieces we trade, the less likely he'll checkmate me. But I think the engine says knight e2 and, you know, try to win this pawn. Also, the knight here defends c3, so I'm less worried about b4, c3. I guess. Okay, so I played knight f5, and that knight's pretty good, so we traded. And as a consequence... Of trading those pieces, you could say, well, your pawns are doubled, so your extra pawn isn't as important. On the other hand, my bishop has a very nice square on e6. Very nice. And if he trades knight for bishop, I mean, my rooks are just going to have the e and the d files. And I have an extra pawn. The f pawn's weak. So, I, I mean, I thought this was the simplest way to make sure he didn't have a mating attack. Okay, and he continued his mating attack. And I played queen e1 because I want to trade queens and not get mated. And I gain a tempo on his queen. And bishop e6 is coming with tempo, etc. Mainly etc. All right, he played queen c5, attacking my bishop. I played bishop e6. And this is weird because I thought if he played c3, I would just take his rook on e8. Um, on c8, I mean. But the engine doesn't take the rook on c8, so I don't know. Um, it says that white has a big advantage here. It doesn't believe in black's position. Um, but the way I'm supposed to play against his attack is not the way I was going to play. So, okay, he played rook c6, because, you know, if I take his rook, then I take his rook. Okay. And the engine wants me to play a move I never thought of, and I barely understand. Queen g1. Now, I understand trading queens, but why am I forcing him to play queen a5? 
doesn't he want to play queen a5? So I'm, I'm not a queen g1 fan. Not a fan. All right. Um, I play king b1, which is also good. And this is very funny. When, when the game was over, and in this position in particular, I thought this is the worst move ever, the move that he played. Like he just played a horrible move, the next move. And then, you know, I, I went and then I told him after the game I wasn't worried about what he did, but these other moves. Then when I, I went to my room, I put the game in the computer, it said this is the best move for black. And I was like, all right. Now it says I'm winning in any case. And just to let you know, I'm not worried at all about his attack because the pawns are in front of my king. We've traded all the pieces. And most importantly, his knight is dead. I'm not worried about his knight attacking me. He's not going here, not going here, not going here. So he's attacking me with these pieces that are behind his pawns. And my queen's defending this, my bishop's defending this, and I have all three pawns in front of my king, and I didn't see a way he could break through. So during the game, I wasn't worried at all, but my friends, if you can call them that, who were watching were like, oh my God, Ben's getting checkmated. That's not, I didn't feel that at all. And I thought the next move was terrible, but it's actually better than the move I expected. I expected B3 to blast, you know, blast me open. And the engine just like, whatever. Yeah, it just takes this and says like, black has nothing. Now, I didn't think black had anything, but I was really scared. Right? Like if he checks and I go here, this is scary. But I'm defending this. I'm defending this. I'm defending this. This is defended by the bishop. If he takes, my queen takes and defends it. And I'm up two pawns. So the engine just says white wins. Because it doesn't see a continuation for black. And I guess if it's my move, rook c1 wins. I don't know. Um, yeah. Now, this was scary to me. But the engine's not scared. It just says, yeah, white's winning. It says no, black can't do anything. All right. Rembrandt. Uh, T, uh, Q, Rembrandt Q. Einstein subscribed. Hooray. Hank Scorpio or Frank Grimes? I mean, I wouldn't call him Frank Grimes. I would call him Grimey. I don't know. I like Hank Scorpio better. But, um, but they're both good choices. Don't forget Frank Grimes Jr. to get revenge for his dad's death. All right, so he played C3. <clears throat> After the game, he thought C3 is fine. And after b3, he thought his next move was terrible because of my reply, which he didn't see. And the engine said my reply is not even the best move. After the game, he thought he would go here and have a good position. Um, and the engine's like, no, you don't have a good position. Um, after a5, one of the ideas to try to be safe is to play a4. And then if he takes on Passant King a2, but the engine says that's not necessary. Um, it doesn't care about this. It literally doesn't care. The reason is, if he goes here and takes, I can take with a bishop. And basically his only counterplay is to play queen b2 mate. So the engine wants me to play queen h4. And then if I can, I can take this pawn. And then I'm never worried about queen a3 because I have queen c1. And the, b and the, the a files... Oh, that is Rick is hanging with check. Sorry. So let's say he goes here or something. Yeah, now I could even just take, and then he if he takes this, he's his own back rank is 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 no good. And bishop b3. And again, one of the reasons I'm winning here, other than being up three pawns, is his knight on f6 is just useless. His knight on f6 does nothing. It's not in the game. That's why I wasn't worried. Uh Diallo subscribed. Mandex420 subscribed. McJurgle subscribed. I didn't refresh the stream. That's why I'm not seeing the train. I'm like, there has to be a train. But I didn't see it because I didn't refresh. Yeah. Okay. So this is all winning for white. And one thing I, I taught my students when I had students was when you give up material and you still have an attack, the judgment of somebody who's lower rated isn't good because their judgment is always the attack is good. That's always their judgment. And if you have an attack and you're sacrificing material, you have to give specific variations 
that show why your game is good. You can't just say, my game is good, look at my attack. And so since none of my students could ever calculate anything, they weren't allowed to sacrifice. I mean, they blunder enough pieces as it is, giving away on purpose, that, that's a double whammy. And Deepak likes to sacrifice. He's not calculating as well as, you know, a super GM, and he just loves attacking. So he's like a really strong, weak player. He plays like a weak player, but much better. He's always attacking. He's always sacrificing, but he's much better than like, you know, in 1800. He calculates better, understands better, but he leans towards like craziness. And when I say craziness, it has to do with him attacking. He loves attacking. He loves it. I like attacking when it works, but, you know, it doesn't work. I'm down material. Yer Treo subscribed. Hooray. Okay, so he played queen a5. Now, I thought here I had several moves that won, and I'm right. The engine wants me to play a4, and, you know, then the queen side's completely blocked. And if he takes on Passant, king a2. That's a typical idea. And it's very hard for him to get in there. Um, and he, I don't think he had any ky jelly with him, so... I don't see how he can get in there. Um, I mean, White, White's defense is tight. <clears throat> as long as you don't get the joke, I don't get in trouble. I can see why chess.com asked me to do commentary. Um, yeah. Yeah, now I didn't do that. I thought it was fine, but I played rook d4. And after the game, he's like, man, I didn't see rook d4. I should have played a5, a4. And the idea is if he threatens me, I stop me. And because he played queen a5, there's no other ideas. He can't push his pawn. He, he can't get another a rook in here. He can't get his knight in there. So he doesn't want to trade queens. Then I'm going to win this. And this is weak. His back rank is weak. My bishop's dominating his knight. I'm up a pawn. Yeah. Now the engine actually does play here and trade queens and says white's winning. It says that's the best. So queen a5 is a very bad move, but I think he just didn't realize his position was bad. The better I got at chess, um, the more I didn't believe in attacks. I believed defense was going to work, and if the attack worked, there had to be a variation where it worked, not just I have an attack, let's see if it works. If I don't see that it works, if I don't see a forced mate or winning, then I'm a pawn. 100 cents to dues, hooray, go, whatever. Okay, so he played h6 because he wants to get luft because I'm going to meet him on the back rank if he doesn't. I stop queen a3 and threaten his f pawn. Tax my rook. Now I got to be careful, like if I play queen takes f4 defending my rook, he takes my rook and then plays queen a3. Like my queen has to, you know, be able to go to c1. Thanks, Spiky Biscuit. Thanks, Farty Party. Thanks, Tisker, Tasker, etc. Okay, I doubled up on the bubble up. He traded. He defended his pawn and attacked my rook. Um, yeah, now I can take on um, b4 or f4, but I was worried about him getting counterplay. I thought if he didn't get counterplay, I just win. So if he plays like rook d6, rook d2, queen e2, I didn't like that. So I just played here. Engine doesn't like it. The engine wants me to take all these pawns. But if he gets in like rook here, queen here, rook here, I'm going to lose. And the engine's like, no, nah, that won't happen. Don't worry about it. Well, I was worried about it. So I played here because I literally didn't care if I won more pawns. I just didn't want to get mated. And if I don't get mated, I win because I'm up a pawn. His knight can't move. His B pawn's weak. His F pawn's weak. His king could get in trouble. So I was only worried about my king getting attacked. I wasn't worried about anything else. Now he should play g6, but we were in time trouble here. And I'm still winning, but it's like close. But he played king h7. And this is actually very funny. I played g4. And when I played g4, my intention was, well, if he doesn't take on Passant, I'll just play h4, g5, and I win, which is right. So he takes on Poussaint. And I wanted to play f4 here. And that was one of my original intentions. And I thought he had to play queen e3. And um, 
What's funny is Rook D3 loses to Rook D6, which is pretty funny. And then uh, what did I want to do here? I wanted to take this. And then if he takes here, right, then Bishop F7. Right. To play Bishop G6 check and, and checkmate him. And the idea is I want to play Bishop F7 which I can't do because his queen is on e5 attacking my, my pawn on f5. So if I go here, he just plays queen takes f5. Now I'm threatening h4, g5, and I'm threatening bishop here, bishop here. So he has to take on passant. And I convinced myself, and I'm actually glad I did, because maybe in time trouble I would have blown it. I convinced myself after this that queen takes d4 is very dangerous. Okay. Now the engine's like, no, it's not, but I'm not an engine. And I was very scared of like this. Okay. And rightfully so. My king's getting mated. He's queening. So this is the only move. There's no other move. Then I thought he'd play rook d6. And then my queen moves somewhere, probably here. And then he goes here. And the engine's like, yay, white's winning. But I, I didn't like this. Now, obviously, if the engine says white's winning, probably white's winning. Probably. But I, I didn't like this position. This looked terrible to me. I was really scared. And even though the engine says white wins, it doesn't mean that I would have won. I mean, I don't, I don't like this at all. So that's why I didn't play f4. I thought he would sack his queen and play take. So I just took back. Okay, he has to take this. Otherwise, I have f4 and g4 and okay, I win. Now his queen's not attacking f5. So I go here to play bishop g6 check. And again, my bishop's gray. His knight is terrible. And I have the d file. His b pawn's attacked. So I'm still winning. And we're in time trouble here. So it was risky to play g4 and sack a pawn because I'm already up a pawn. But, you know, truth hurts. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, etc. Now, one of the variations I looked at for your edification, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just telling you what I looked at, was here, 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 check. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not check. Rook g4. Now, that doesn't work, but the idea is if he goes here, then I play queen c1 check, and it's mate next move. Um, but unfortunately... Uh, knight takes g4 wins because after queen c1 check, he blocks and then blocks with his queen. And then he's winning. So that was something that I looked at, like I have some mating chances. But it turns out queen h1 is plus 1,000. Like now it says resigns for him, which is weird. But I guess I'm threatening rook g4 now. And then I play queen c1. Maybe this is also winning. Maybe this is winning. I don't know. But queen h1 is plus 1,000. So. Okay, so he didn't play h5. Unlimited rice pudding subscribed. Hooray, three years. Okay. So after bishop f7, he didn't want to get back rank made it, so he played rook c8. And I played a3, which the engine approves of. Um... I want to play king a2 and then start doing stuff. If I don't play king a2 and I start doing stuff, he can checkmate me on the back rank or gain a tempo to play queen g1, queen c1, queen b2 mate. So I want my king to go to a2 and then I'll start checkmating him. The engine agrees. BG Yoshi subscribed. Okay, he stopped my rook d8 checkmating him ideas. And then now I'm up more pawns. Hooray! I'm up a lot of pawns. Yeah, then king a2, so my king is safe. And this was the 40th move, queen d3. So I'm obviously winning now. I'm up pawns. His knight still can't do anything. His king's worse than mine. C pawn's weak, a pawn's weak. And I made time control. Okay, so he tried, but he failed miserably to get counterplay. Finally, he got his knight out. And if I take his knight, I lose. Because rook takes a4 check, and he crashes through. I saw knight d5 when I, I saw that was his counterplay because he wants to play knight b4 check. 
And every move wins, but this wins the easiest. Because it stops knight b4 check because my rook's defending it and queen. And so now he's down a thousand pawns and all his pieces are hanging. Hooray. Why a3, not a4? Um, a3, I, I don't want my king trapped forever. So after a3, because I, I took on b4, I won some pawns. If he takes and I play king a2, if the queens ever come off, my king just walks down the a-file and takes everything. If I play a4 and he doesn't take on passant, my king's just trapped on a2 the rest of the game. This way I, I can get breathing room and get out. Okay, so he gave a piece away because he has to. If I play queen takes, he has rook takes a4 check because my rook is overworked. And now it doesn't matter. And he resigned here because it's hard to stop queen c8, although he did by resigning. That stops queen c8. And I made sure there was never any stalemates because his h-pawn can always move. There's not any stalemates anyway, but with his h-pawn able to move, there's never any stalemates. So, you know, like, like if, he, if, if somehow I captured his queen on this diagonal, like with my queen, then he still has h5. He, he can't do anything else. Okay, and here he resigned. Yeah, and then, after, and then just today, we haven't talked about the game since the World Open. He was like, yeah, the engine didn't like my pawn sack and said you were better the rest of the game. And I was like, I already knew that. I knew that after the game. Et cetera. I did like that game, yeah. That was nice. 